In this video, we're going to look at how to convert ratios, like 3 to 5, into fractions. To help us, let's imagine that this ratio represents apples to berries. So for every 3 apples, there are 5 berries. Remember though, that because it's only a ratio, we can't tell the total number of pieces of fruit. For example, there could just be 3 apples and 5 berries, in which case there would be a total of 8 pieces of fruit. But there could also be 6 apples and 10 berries, so 16 pieces in total. Or 9 apples and 15 berries, giving us 24 in total. And so on. All we know is that for every 3 apples, there must also be 5 berries. For the sake of converting it into a fraction though, we don't really need to worry about any of this. We can just act as though there's 3 apples, 5 berries, and 8 pieces in total. Because this is the most simple version. So to find the fraction of fruit that are apples, we just do the number of apples, so 3, over the total of 8. So 3 eighths of the fruits are apples. And likewise, if we wanted to find the fraction of fruits that are berries, we just do the same thing. But this time we do 5 over 8, because 5 of every 8 pieces of fruits are berries. The other thing that we can do is write how many apples there are as a fraction of how many berries there are, and vice versa. So because there are 3 apples and 5 berries, there are 3 over 5, or three-fifths, as many apples as there are berries. Or to show how many berries there are as a fraction of how many apples there are, we just do it the other way around. So five over three. So there's five-thirds as many berries as there are apples. This might seem a bit weird, but remember that fractions, like five-thirds, just represent numbers. In this case, five-thirds is exactly the same thing as 1.67. And so what we're really saying is that we always have 1.67 times as many berries as we have apples. And we can see that this is true, because if we take the number 3, which is how many apples we have, and multiply it by 1.67, we get 5. Which is what we expected, because we know that for every 3 apples, we have 5 berries. Let's give this stuff another go with this question. So it says here that Ben has a bag of chocolate and plain cookies that are in the ratio of 4 to 3. And for part 1, we need to find the fraction of total cookies that are chocolate. And for part 2, we need to express the number of plain cookies as a fraction of the number of chocolate cookies. So the first thing I would do here is just write down what we know. So write that the ratio of chocolate to plain is 4 to 3. Then in order to find the fraction of total cookies that are chocolate, we first need to find the total number of cookies, which we can do by adding together 4 and 3 to get a total of 7 cookies. Then we just put the number of chocolate cookies, which is 4, over the total of 7 to find that 4 sevenths of the cookies are chocolate. Then for the second part, to express the number of plain cookies as a fraction of the number of chocolate cookies, we just do the number of plain cookies, which is 3, over the number of chocolate cookies, which is 4. And this tells us that there are 3 quarters as many plain cookies as there are chocolate cookies. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So I hope it was helpful for you, and thanks for watching.